Have you ever wanted to frame something that you've created or wanted to create something that was frameable that you could use as a gift or hang in your own home? This month, we're going through coffee cup prompts, and our prompt was collage. I am going to share with you the collage that I created and decided to go ahead and frame, and we'll be framing the other one for my daughter. So give me just a second. I'll introduce my channel, and then we'll get started to work on those two collages. start by just creating some collage papers and I've chosen a palette and I will be again with this Naples yellow which I think is an amazing color it's one of my favorite colors it just has that nice buttery soft yellowy yellowy is that a word that nice buttery effect and I've just picked out some, some stencils. Um, this particular stencil came in one of my Stencil Girl shipments. Um, I did belong to Stencil Girl for quite a while. I had to finally stop because I was getting so many stencils. And not that that's a bad thing. I think I will probably start up once again. But in any event... I'm pulling uh, the color out of the vacant spaces on the press and we'll pick this up and allow this to dry before I put my second color down. And we will get started with a second gel press with that butter yellow and I'm going to work on two prints at the same time. And I will put this stencil down. This is a cheap stencil that I picked up, I think, at a dollar store. It's um, made out of cardstock, but it I love it. It's been around forever. So I just, I didn't pull the color out of that one. I just um, rubbed my brayer over the top of it, and it created that pattern by pushing that into the paint and into the press a little bit more. And now I'm going to pull these with the yellow ochre, another one of my favorite colors. I think they're all my favorites. Do I, do I have a color that I own that isn't one of my favorite colors? I don't know. I don't think so. And I am pulling that with just newsprint. And I've laid the newsprint down. I'm going to let that sit for a bit. I'm putting some bubble Bubbles, some bubble wrap over the yellow ochre on this second one. And here we go. So this will be, hopefully, it looks like it's going to tear on me just a little bit, but this will be the first collage print. Now I have no idea why those dark lines appear. I, I don't know. And that's one of the things with the gel press and, and with my beginner kind of uh, capabilities. There's, there's things that happen that I just never expect. But that's okay. And here is that second one. We'll get that pulled off of the press. And it is tearing on me a little bit, too. I think, you know, part of that issue is this newsprint. It's such a, a fine, thin paper. But I'm just looking, I'm going to be utilizing these as collage prints. So if it tears a little bit, that's not a calamity. I'll choose the section of the print that I went to use. Burnt Sienna. Another stencil. I'm just going to brayer that stencil down, pull some of that color out with this kind of tear paper. I'm kind of liking the way that that drop paper is looking, or that catch paper is looking. That's catching my my off fall. We may use that too. So there is that.
Let's pull that once it dried to the touch. I'm putting down a combination of the yellow ochre and the Naples yellow. And it is getting to be fall. I have a space heater running in my shop and things are drying very quickly. So you can see that kind of little blob on there. That's where that paint dried so very fast. So I have pulled that with one side of my sheet of tissue paper and I'm going to see if I can get a second pull with that. Oh, I think the second one I like better than the first. So there's the first pull and the second pull side by side on that tissue paper with the Naples yellow, yellow ochre, and burnt sienna. So now what shall we do? I'm going to come in with some more burnt sienna. And I'm into the leaf thing right now, so I'm trying to choose colors that kind of are reminiscent to me of fall, which is my favorite time of year. I've used the word favorite a lot in this video, haven't I? I think I'm just going to go over the top of the stencil with this gold because it doesn't look like the stencil has really left a great impression on the press. So let's see what happens when we do this. And there we go. So we'll set that aside, allow that to dry a bit. We'll clean that off on my catch paper here because we use the catch paper in in projects and you know that may be part of our collage as well so let's see how this one turned out and I pulled this on a on a deli sheet and that did not produce much of anything it looks like the paint dried on the press didn't pull off on my my deli paper so I'm just re-moisturizing, if you will, the press with that Naples yellow, and we'll see if we can get something. This is not much. That's still leaving a lot on the press. And once again, I think it's it's really dry here in my, I probably should get a humidifier over here. There we go. That kind of has that old world painted building kind of look. I like that. Still a lot on my press though. Let's see if burnt sienna will pick it up. Let's just comb through that, see if we can add to the interest of the print. More newsprint. And we're starting to get the, the, <laughs> the press clean. I like that. That turned out pretty decent. I'm just experimenting. I'm just playing. I'm not going into any big, huge thought process in, in gel press um, printing for the collage. I'm just sinking more color than anything, and I'm just exploring and playing, and it's just kind of a relaxing afternoon to not have any pressure for the outcome. I still am trying to get all that paint cleaned off my my press so I can put my press away and start collaging.
We'll let that one dry. We'll come back to this one. It has dried to the touch now. So I can pull that with this Naples yellow. I'm still trying to get something on one of those deli sheets. Do I want to risk it? I don't think so. So I'm going to go back with a, a sheet of copy paper. And that is pulling very nice. I would call that a successful pull. So I can stick that, press the side, well, maybe do one more. Let's just do a background on this deli paper, see if we get anything. There we go. And that cleaned up that press as well, kind of. We'll give it one more, one more swipe. Oh, look at that. It always amazes me as to what is left on the press that we can't see with the human eye. So I think my press is pretty clean. I can set that aside. I've got a couple of pretty decent little pulls off of cleaning the press. And let's see if this finally got all of that goo off and it did and I think we have one more that you know is kind of that old world looking so here are the prints that we have together to do this collage and we're going to do two collages one set of three so a little collage series with these if you will and one um, that is just, actually I did it to use what was left over with the collage paper. So I'm going to work on the set of three first. I have those cut and I have them taped down. Now I'm just trying to go through these papers and choose which ones I want to start with. Okay, I think I have picked out what I want to use. I mean, I'm shuffling through these over and over. I know. I get it. I'm probably boring you to tears, but I can't help it. I left it in because I wanted you to see the whole process from start to finish on this. I've had that requested, and I think, you know, I need to, to be pretty clear that, that I'm not... Um, planning anything ahead. I'm just uh, rambling about and doing what I can to make something look decent on the, as the end result. So I've chosen and will begin to collage these pieces together. And I've decided, again, um, inspiration from one of the posts in my Facebook group, someone made the comment that white space is not a bad thing. And I thought, wow, that, that is amazing. I have, have covered up my whole interior on the past collages that I've made. So maybe this one, I will incorporate that white space into what I want to do. So I learn from comments that are made. I learn from... Watching other videos, I learn from everything around me. So it is always fun to take something that you read or something that you saw and try to put it into practice. And that is what I'm experimenting with here, is getting that white space incorporated into what, what I am doing. I also am going to do something... Um, 
with my glue and water mixture to add a little interest to this collage as well. So stick with me. We are almost there. And if you like my content thus far, please give me that thumbs up. It does, it does help my channel, and I, I do appreciate it. And I love to read your comments, so thank you for those. So there we go. I think we're going to go with something very, very simple. Everything is in place, and I'm coming in with the leaves that, as you saw in the last video, I am using from our index card prompt, the leaves that we use to echo die on the index card. So if you missed that, um, the playlist will be in the description below, or it is linked on the end screen. So now, let's just glue these down with that glue and water mixture and of course my DIY supplies I like to link those videos as well 
At first I thought I would be finished here, but then I decided, since I am making this for my daughter that's a little more glitzy and glam than I, I added some glitter to my Mod Podge. You can see me put that glitter in right now into my Mod Podge. I've put it into a separate container. It's in my glue and water uh, mixture. And I'm mixing it up, and I am going to brush that glitter over the top of these pieces. You can see that glitter down inside that glue and water now. And we'll see. I may ruin these, and it may turn out okay. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So I'm testing it over here on the side, I think. And let's be brave. All right, we have them finished. You can probably see the little bit of sprinkle. Let's pull off this tape and see how those turned out. I like it. I think it turned out pretty good. Got one just little blob right there I went to get evened out. And I think she'll like these. See if I can get it off without tearing my watercolor paper. That's always a challenge. But it's actually, the tape is, is coming off clean. I'm using just plain masking tape. I've bought painter's tape and used that and had and struggled with it. I bought artist tape and used that and struggled with it. It was um, considerably more expensive and I thought this is the answer. This is what this is what people are using. And and it still ripped my paper. So one of the things that I have found is with this masking tape, when I tear the tape off, I take the tape and I put it on on my jeans. I wear a pair of tattered jeans when I come over to the shop and they're all painted up, and my husband keeps threatening to throw them away. He's thrown away one pair, but I've, I've successfully tattered up another. I put that tape over my leg and pull it up a couple of times, and that removes some of the adhesive, and it, it seems to be working much better when, when I go through that process. So just to, to share that with you.
The first set of three is completed, but we have a lot of paper left over. So I'm going to start with this uh, piece of watercolor paper. I have it taped down. I pulled some charcoal and just scribbled on the charcoal. I'm spraying on some uh, vintage photo distress oxide ink. I know that that is going to bleed and create a background for me when I go to glue my papers down, and that is why I put it there. I am just going to be quiet and collage this piece and let you enjoy the music, and I'll see you on the other side. Sometimes 
of the collage series for the coffee cup prompts. So I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you will come join me and see what's in store for the next upcoming month. The coffee cup prompt will be pulled the first week of the month and we will do four videos like we have in the past. The first one was index cards. The second one was collage. So we are in month two and getting ready to start month three. Thank you for being here. Appreciate your comments always. And I shall say bye for now.